Good morning. Beautiful day to study God's Word with you today. Uh, I guess you can see it there in the background. We lost one of our trees in the backyard this morning. Uh, dead pine and a friend, a brother in Christ, uh, came over, took it down this morning. Very thankful for his, uh, for his service. Today, as we continue our study, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Apostle Paul for a second. Um, before we get into our text, uh, pretty amazing, amazing man, right? Uh, goes on four missionary journeys, writes most of the, the New Testament. I mean, just wow, what Paul did. Um, amazing service uh, to God. But I find it interesting what he, what he says here in the uh, Corinthian church. He apparently some what he calls super apostles uh, were going around. Um, but what they were sharing was, was not the truth uh, of God's word. Um, well, let me just read the, this section to you, uh, verses 4, 4 through 6 of chapter 11, about these super apostles. Um, Paul writes, For if someone comes to you and preaches a Jesus other than the Jesus we preached, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received, or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it easily enough. But I do not think I am in the least inferior to those super apostles. I may not be a trained speaker, but I do have knowledge. We have made this perfectly clear to you in every way. Whoever these apostles were, these super apostles, as Paul writes, um, whoever they were, you know, trained speakers, very easy to listen to. Um, super apostles, he writes. But what they didn't have was, was the truth. And Paul, you know, we look at him now and, man, just uh, amazing what he was able to do in his ministry with Paul. Paul's like, I, you know, I may not be a trained speaker. Paul showing his, his humility. Uh, but, what, but what Paul knew he had, he says, I do have, I do have knowledge. I have truth. Um, how about you? How about me? Are we, are we super apostles? Maybe we don't view ourselves that way. But what do you have? Do you have knowledge? Do you have the truth? Absolutely. Um, what you do have is knowledge. And it doesn't take a trained, eloquent speaker to say, uh, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves you too. I know what I've done. But I also know that Jesus has forgiven my sin. I know he has forgiven your sin too. Um, it doesn't take an eloquent super apostle to share this. Um, so appreciate what you have. You have that knowledge. And two, be aware of quote-unquote super apostles of this day and age. Um, compare what they say to the truth of God's word. Is it true? Um, is this what God says? Um, and when you're sharing the, the knowledge that you do have, you are truly a, a super apostle sharing that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves you. Jesus forgives me. Jesus forgives you too. Sharing that knowledge, sharing that truth, that's uh, what makes us a super apostle. Uh, I pray that you, you know that and you see that. Let's pray right now and, and thank God for this. Dear Lord, we thank you for giving us the knowledge of your truth. And we ask that you help us to, um, to be aware of the, the false teachings that this world may offer. Help us to always compare it to the truth of your word. And we ask that you strengthen us to share it, to know that we have been called by you, to share what we know, to share the truth that we have <clears throat> with the world around us. Strengthen us to, to see those opportunities and to take advantage of them uh, when the time comes. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessings on your day.